up, we need to update you on a major situation still unfolding right now in St. Joseph County. There are four people seriously hurt following a bad car crash near Penn High School. WSBT's Christian Bean has been on the scene all morning. Christian, investigators say this actually started as a police chase. Yeah, started as a police chase in Elkhart County just around 4 in the morning on old US 33. An officer uh, flagged that car and called it in because it was a suspicious vehicle. That, um, that chase went a short distance uh, and then the car crashed here on Jefferson a few minutes later. We are between Birch and Tanglewood along Jefferson just east of Penn this morning. Uh, police have been out here since, since the crash happened and working to first of all get the four occupants of this car out of the car and then take them to the hospital and now those four occupants are out of the car and they are continuing to investigate right now they're taking pictures uh, taking measurements looking at some of the debris that's in the road um, they actually just asked us to move back because they noticed that there were tire tracks in the grass leading up to the crash but we know that four people are critically injured in this crash it took them a while to cut them out of the vehicle in fact the last patient was cut out of the vehicle around 5.17 this morning, so a good uh, hour after the crash had happened. So again, we're on Jefferson between Birch and Tanglewood, where uh, four people are in critical condition after this terrible crash here east of Penn. Guys? And Christian, obviously, this is just to the east of Penn High School. We're about an hour and a half or so away from kids starting to show up. What kind of impact is this going to have on traffic? Well, you know, that's still unclear, but right now I can tell you that the road is closed between Birch and Tanglewood at least. Now, when I was arriving on scene earlier this morning, they had Jefferson roped off right at Bittersweet. Uh, I'm, I'm unsure right now if that is still the case, but I would say that if you take Jefferson to get to work this morning or if you take Jefferson to drop your kids off at school, take a different route because this is going to be closed up for some time. Also still unclear how this will affect buses, as I know kids are probably waking up and getting ready for school but we're going to keep you updated and we'll let you know when the road is finally open this morning guys all right Kristen Bean live out there thank you very much